one, nah, I ain't basic Niggas mad, they talk behind my back, they better face it Grinding every day until a nigga really make it Caught us up in traffic, 12 thought that we was racing 12 thought they had us, cause the whips, we was driving fast Rest in peace, Tavis, my little bro, he always did the dash Quick to put my money in the bank, ain't never had to fly I don't even need the gang around me, I be acting bad I never really drink or like the party, but the gang do Let the money change, other niggas don't let it change me. My last two was yellow, but I rapped it, they thought it came to me It's like literally through y'all and um you can see all the black dots if you see what i mean uh it, it comes up a little bit you know when i wipe it or when i clean it but i can tell y'all well having a catless car you're gonna get black shit all over your car so just prepare for that if you plan on going catless i will wait to get a wrap or at least wait and try to figure out what you're gonna do about the situation because you are gonna have black all on the rear of your car. That's why my exhaust always super, super dirty, y'all. That's really from this being catless. That's one reason why we wanted to redo it because he was gonna have to redo the whole bumper. And it's not even just the rear bumper, it's actually the trunk too. Y'all can see it's all over the trunk. So that's the bumper, that's the trunk, that's the door. And I'm actually showing y'all this too. We got a big dent over here. I'm trying to see where it's at, y'all. 
trying to see right here. I don't know how good y'all can see that, but uh, yeah, we got a big old dent right there, y'all. And that's really, that's really like deep. I notice it almost every time I uh, walk on this side of the car. So uh, we was gonna actually take the wrap off, get the dings and the dents out the door and uh, just rewrap the door. But if you think about it, y'all, it's literally the trunk. That's the rear bumper. That's that door is this door. And another thing is right before I got the wrap, one day I was at the car wash, y'all. I was cleaning up the car when it was red. I noticed it was a black dot on the front bumper. I tried to hit it with the power wash. I got real close to it, not knowing that it was an actual paint chip. Y'all can tell where I'm going with this. So for me doing that, I actually pulled the wrap up or I actually pulled the paint up way more. You can actually see under the wrap, y'all. It's a mark right there. Kind of hard to see, y'all. But it is a mark right there from where the paint came up from. So I was thinking to just take the whole wrap off, do a paint correction, you know, get the dents out, do everything like that. Just really, you know, redo the wrap. So if you think about it, y'all, that's the front bumper now that I said, that's both sides of the door, that's the rear bumper, the rear trunk. That's literally almost the whole car that needs to be redone. So since I was gonna get it redone, it would be the perfect time to either switch it up or just add something to it, y'all. I'm really trying to debate. That's why I want to come to y'all. That's why I want to ask y'all what should I do about it. Should I keep the pink longer? Should I go half and half? Because I really, really miss how the SS used to look, y'all. It was half black. on. It was black on the driver's side, and it was Tiffany blue on the left side. I really, really think it'll look good on the ZL1. I didn't want to do it at first because we got this big hood scoop. And I know that's going to take a lot away from the rat because... We would literally have to stop the half and half right here. I'm not doing it on the hood scoop, y'all. I'm leaving that carbon fiber. That's one thing I'm never doing, y'all. I'm never wrapping this right here. I'm always gonna leave this carbon fiber. So that was one reason why I didn't want to do the half and half, y'all. Also, you can see like right here is one of the flaws. Like that never really stayed down. I can easily could have cut that out, but I didn't want to touch it. And I really forgot to say something when I went back to the wrap shop. So you can see it's a few things, but other than that, the wrap is really holding up good. Y'all can see it's like nothing crazy, nothing coming up. You know, like everything is really perfect with the wrap, y'all. So once again, man, if you don't got them follow now, go follow Detroit Raps on Instagram. Tell them I sent you if you want to rap and you will get a discount. Or if you want me to put the word in for you, y'all can also DM me at the real Tez on instagram or just leave a comment under my video and let me know that you're trying to get a rap and uh i'll reach out to them and i'll you know try to get that discount for y'all because if you tell them i sent you you will for sure get a discount another thing i want to show y'all is right here i got like marks that's stuck right there it's actually from the tape when i went to the track and i know some google will probably get it off but yeah man that's what you got to think about when you wrap a car man if you drag your car if you take it to the track Think about that before you wrap your car, because even if you put tape on there, it's gonna get real messy, y'all, and it's gonna be kind of hard to get off. It's gonna take a while, maybe hours, just to clean it up. So that's one thing I want to tell y'all if you plan on getting a wrap. I know a lot of people always ask about wraps. They always ask me how long do they hold up, and really, I can say the wraps hold up as long as you, as long as you want it to. Honestly, I can say for sure to avoid them black dots if your car is catalyst or if you burn out just always keep it clean because the longer you let it build up the harder it's going to be to get it out a lot of people always ask me Taz why you always at the wash why you always at the wash I try not to let my car get filthy you know letting it get a little dirty is one thing but I don't ever let my car get dusty I don't let it get super dirty you know to where I have to really really do a lot to clean it you know I take my time at the wash I'll probably take about two to three hours just because I really really clean my car if you didn't know I used to work for Mercedes and uh BMW and I used to detail so I kind of have experience with detailing and I was gonna go to the wash and show y'all how to actually wash my car but for me having to go to work in about two to three hours i decided to just wait so if you want to see a video of how to clean your car the correct way or how do i clean my z01 y'all leave a comment because i'm gonna get that video for y'all as well but if y'all watched the one year ownership review video i told y'all that i plan on doing some calipers or i plan on doing my calipers pink and uh, i actually just hit up the shop for that now so i think i'm gonna actually get that done before i figure out if i'm gonna keep the wrap or change the wrap or if I'm gonna get it redone. So y'all tell me what color I should go with before I do it. I was thinking reflective white, but if I do that pink on there, I know that's just gonna make the color pop way more. So y'all tell me what y'all think, man. 
Was y'all ready for a new rap? Should I keep the peak? It only been three months, but if you know me and if you've been here, y'all know I like to switch stuff up. I really was thinking about it today while I was driving the car, like, man, what is we gonna do? Is we gonna keep the peak? Is we gonna switch it up? Or is we just gonna get it redone just because of all the flaws? We got a few spots like right here. It came up, you know, just from water. And that's just normal, y'all. Stuff like this, like the cracks. This is another one that came up that I didn't show you. I actually got that fixed when I went to the wrap shop, but a lot of like tight spots like that, you know, a lot of creases that's like hard to tuck in really. That's where the water or air get into and that's what make it come back up because it don't really get to stay down. That's why a lot of people don't drive the car in the rain or let it get wet. You know, the first 48 hours it has to sit and it has to, you know, get stuck to the paint. That way it won't come up. So if y'all ever get a wrap and it start coming up, nine times out of 10, it's probably just air in it or it was water underneath it or something underneath it to make it not stick from the jump yeah y'all tell me what y'all think man like i said i'm sorry i haven't been able to get y'all a video but i told y'all i got approved for a house so that's really just been my main focus i don't really want to spend no money on a car right now y'all i want to bad i want to mod my car right now y'all but like i said in a one year ownership uh review video right now it's it's, it's gonna be kind of hard because i have to go to a new shop the shop i talked to gave me a good price but i don't want to spend that type of money right now because just to get a tune i have to pay 1500 just because you know i have a trans tool with hp tuners you know they have to get that unlocked so man that's not my focus right now i'm trying to get a house once i get this house in order that's when i'm gonna get back on building the car y'all because i told y'all i want to do some mods and i'm really tired of how slow she is y'all i've been racing a lot of cars i'm just tired of being in this horsepower range i'm really like in a worse spot with horsepower right now it's like I'm right, you know, right, I don't want to say in the middle, but it's like right before it being fast, if you get what I'm saying. I know I'm only making 700 horsepower right now. I want to say when I can be fast, it's when I'm making at least 720, 740 wheel. And that's my goal. So uh, my next mod is going to be a cam with some D85, like I said. If you've been watching, then you already know. But uh, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. So right after we get the house, y'all, that's what I'm going to be doing. Unless... I end up just randomly getting some headers and doing some headers and get a tune before I do a cam. That's another thing I've been thinking. So y'all leave a comment. Y'all tell me what y'all think I should do, man. But with me getting this house, that's just really been my main focus, y'all. So if the content slowed down a little bit, that's the reason why. But I promise I'm going to only give y'all some better content when I drop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think. I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.